Nihao my fine friends, it's Onipixel here. And goddamn, it is like so hot in my room right now, but I'm still recording a video, and it is a very, very powerful video. Because today, we are going to look at the Katowice 2015 supply. And these are numbers that I don't think anyone knows about, so after watching this video, you will know what sticker to invest in and what sticker to avoid. And of course, we are only looking at the Katowice 2015 holos, we are not looking at the foils, we are not looking at the normal stickers, because the holo stickers are what you want to invest in. This was already a lot a lot of work. I looked at the whole supply of each holo sticker from the Katowice 2015 tournament and I put it all into Excel, made a nice little graph. This video is basically the same, just like TDM Jesus video. We did it for the Katowice 2014 stickers, which you should definitely check out if you haven't yet. Great guy. But these supply numbers, everyone can look it up on CSGO Exchange. Most people know that there are just under 200 of each sticker left. But for the Katowice 2015 stickers, most people don't know the numbers. And yeah, first I want to show you how to do it. I used a database called CSGO Exchange. And if you used it before, you know that CSGO Exchange only shows you 200 items and their owner, and then that's it. Oh, and by the way, if this isn't clear, this is a non-sponsored video. <laughs> I don't even use CSGO Exchange anymore. Just for the cause of this video, it was really helpful, but apart from that, you can use other services. But yeah, but if there's an item with, I don't know, a supply of 1000, then CSGO Exchange doesn't really show you um, the full supply. So how can you counter that? Really easy, but a little bit hidden. Of course, you put in the item or the sticker that you want to look up. Then you go for search now. You scroll down to the last profile that it shows you, the last owner, and everything is sorted by the item ID. So what you're going to do is copying the item ID of the 200th item. Then you go back to the search feature. You put in the same item that you want to search up, or the sticker, of course. And then you put in that item ID at um, yeah this kind of filter. It says with the lower ID, and then you paste it in, you put in the item again, search again, and then the list will start at basically number 201. And then you go back down again, copy the number, paste it back in, and that's how it's done. So yeah, I did this for each sticker, and here are the numbers. As you can see, the total supply of Katowice 2015 holos is 12,326. And well, if you ask me, that is a very low number. I expected it to be well over, I don't know, like 25,000. Of course, the data is from June 2019. That's when I looked it up. These numbers are mostly going to decrease because of course people are applying them. And yeah, from left to right, you can see um, the Vox Solo being the most expensive sticker. And then down to the right, the, what even is it called? Got <laughs> Pentasport sticker. And yeah, as you can see, I think that this graph is worth a lot of money. And while looking all of these numbers up and comparing them to each other, I even myself wanted to invest. Because if you look at this, the sticker with the smallest supply of whole Katowice 2015 is the second cheapest. And yeah, these numbers, now you probably want a comparison to another sticker. I would take the Katowice 2014 non-holos as a comparison. Of the 2014 non-holos, most stickers have a supply of right above 200, so around half of some of these. And yeah, these ones are holo, and they are like 1 20th of the price of the non-holo from Keto 14, even though they have just doubled the supply. Now you might be asking, what is the best sticker to invest in? And I think that the stickers that are present at Katowice 2014 and Katowice 2015, I think that these Keto 15 stickers are the best investment. We are looking at Ninjas in Pajamas, 3D Max, Hellraisers, Fnatic, Virtus Pro, LGB, Titan, and the Navi one I'm not too sure about because this sticker has the highest supply at 1200 and yeah, it might be a good long-term investment, but thinking short-term and profit, I think you should be looking at 3D Max, Ninjas in Pajamas, LGB, and yeah, these are the ones that really stuck out to me. The Vox one being the most expensive one, I wouldn't invest in it. There's a little bit under a thousand in supply, which is double of the 3D Max. But yeah, I don't know, it is 100% the best looking sticker out of this collection, but the sticker is already at 300 bucks, so ah, I don't know if I would invest in it. 
And if we are looking at the price history, we see that from the beginning of this year, in January, the sticker shot up to 77 euros in March, then again another peak in May at 150 euros, and then now the most recent peak, 170 euros. And right now we are looking at the Navi Holo. This is just an example. You can see the same price increase in every other sticker. But yeah, the price dipped down again by around 20%. And I think that if you are investing in the right stickers, then this might be a really, really clever investment. And then another comparison that we can look at, the total supply of Katowice 2015, 12,000 stickers. And comparing that to Katowice 2014, there are around 2,000 stickers left in existence, but most of them are trade banned. So we are looking at a lot, a lot less. Talking about tradable stickers, maybe we are looking at around 1,000 total Katowice 2014 stickers. But yeah, I think that the Katowice 2015 supply is very, very low, much lower than I anticipated, because some of these stickers, looking at the 3D Max one, they are just under 600. And of the Katowice 2014 one, there are like, I don't know, 100 or so. So the supply is just five times lower from Katowice 2014 to Katowice 2015. But yeah, you decide what you do with your money. I think it is a very good investment if you're looking at the right stickers. I hope that these insights help you decide what you want to invest in or if you want to invest at all. And yeah, I would really appreciate it if you could leave me a like. This data was such a struggle to get because each time you look up an item on Cisco Exchange, you have to wait around 20 seconds, which is <laughs> really annoying. And yeah, it took me on average around four searches for each sticker. So yeah, highly appreciating your like. And also, don't forget to subscribe. There will be more content like this. I'm uploading weekly, sometimes even twice a day. And then YouTube sub box doesn't really work. So I advise you to turn on the notification bell. And yeah, that should be it from me. Invest safely. See you in the next one. You see, I free my mind. You see, I free my mind. It's only it could be just a story line If only all this fiction stayed in my mind If only it could be just a story line If only all this fiction The night is very hot oh, I see my reflection in the pond And I know for certain tonight I get exposed You will see my colors rising from the coast If only it could be just a story now If only all this fiction